It's nice, I like it. Yar, I'm a pirate. Give me your coins. Hi guys, how you doing? Um, I'm here today with a video on head shaving. As you can see, I'm one of the fortunate few who lost my hair. I've lost my hair since I was about 23, 24. Um, and we don't get much options with styles of hair. So um, we either clipper it or we body head shave it. Today, as you can probably hear from the echo, it sounds like I'm in a cave. I'm in a cave. Rawr, I'm a caveman. I'm going to shave my head and talk you guys through it. A, if you've never done it before. When I first started doing it, I had cuts and it used to bleed and it's not a nice experience. So I want to make sure that you guys don't have to go through this. Couple of things that you will need before we start. You will need some hair clippers. You will need some facial cleanser, shave gel, shave balm, aftershave balm. Uh, you'll need a hand towel or a gym towel that you can soak in water. A razor, I wouldn't use a Bic razor because it will cut your scalp to bits. Or some moisturizer instead of the, the balm, the aftershave balm. So the first thing I need to do is jump in the shower. Not necessarily because I'm dirty, but I just prefer to soak my hair as part of like my shower routine. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to wash my head with some facial cleanser, Arbonne facial cleanser here. The reason I use this is it makes my scalp feel really soft and it kind of softens my hair really well and that's why I use it. So although I'm using this, you can use like hair conditioner but try and soak the, the hair that you've got. If you don't have hair that's like 0.5 mil, clipper it, that's what you need the clippers for. Um, you need it to be as short as possible before you actually shave it. Right, I'm going to jump in the shower and then we'll carry on. Okay guys, I'm out of the shower. Um, I used the facial cleanser on my hair. I let it soak for about two minutes. Like I said, if you've got hair conditioner, just let it soak. We need the hair to be nice and um, soft. Uh, I didn't dry my head, so my head is actually still wet. If you have a hot shower, it'll open up the pores and it stops you actually getting those blood spots. Um, so all I need to do now, firstly, is I need to soak the hand towel in freezing cold water whilst I'm doing this. So I'm just going to pop it in the bath. Razor. Shave gel. Like I said, I'm using Arbonne RA9 shave gel for men. Um, now, with this, you need to use shave gel because you need to see the hair. You need to actually be able to see what you're doing on your head. Different if somebody else was doing it, they might use foam. But even if, even if you've got gel that turns into foam, you won't properly be able to see what you're actually getting done. It's really difficult to try to do this with the camera <laughs> instead of a mirror. Now, hot water. First thing you need to do is start shaving the way the hair grows. So if you start shaving it towards your ear, if that's how your hair grows, you'll see a huge difference, no cuts. Warm water keeps the pores open. Um, back of your head, you can go away from the hair. Now, there's no way I'll be able to see this, because I just need to play it by ear, but see the difference when you go away from the hair. Okay, I'm halfway. Done? Not done. What a difference. Love it. Okay, so once you've gone, and I'm going to say this now, once you've gone in the direction of the hairline, you need to turn the razor around and go the opposite way. It just takes it right to the skin. And it, again, it's keeping your pores open, it's stopping you from bleeding, and it keeps your scalp soft. You need to put your hand right over your head. You can fl flat hands better so you get full feel. And you'll be able to pinpoint where you haven't properly gone back over the opposite way. You, you probably wouldn't be able to see it even if you had a mirror. It really is just about feeling the difference. And it's really hard to describe and like when you're doing it, but that's just kind of how it is. Like it feels nice to do it as well. I love it. No, I don't have a fetish for hair shaving, just before you say it. 
And remember, like, I always miss this crown area, especially if we're losing our hair, we forget that we've actually got hair here, even if it is just one or two. You might actually find the first couple of times you do this that you do have a sensitive scalp, because I remember when I first started doing this, if you've never done it before, you do actually feel like you've got a really sensitive scalp. Um, but then once you've done it like two or three times, I think your scalp must like harden up or something. The skin must like get much stronger. I think I'm done! Yay! Baldy! 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 Now, once you're actually done, just get your hands nice and warm. And then just take this hot water and rub your hands over your head using the hot water. Again, keep the pores open and you probably wouldn't be able to feel or see if you do have any blood spots at this precise moment in time. So by doing this, it just keeps the pores open and anything that is actually bleeding, and it's usually the same place, like you'll feel the difference every single time you do it and you'll know exactly where to look out for. It does get easier. It's not that much hard work. <laughs> So, you've got your freezing cold towel, literally, wring it out so it's not dripping, but the towel itself is really cold. And this is the best bit, because you get to look really cool and you get to pretend you're a pirate. This is just going to seal all the hair follicles to stop any current bleeding, if you are actually bleeding. It's nice, I like it. Yar, I'm a pirate. Give me your coins. I thought it was quite good. I actually think it was quite good, yeah. Right guys, 20 minutes, it comes off, and the bam goes on. I'm using RE9, again, I've just got the RE9 range, post-shave bam. Um, I'm not being promoted for any of these products, by the way, I'm not being sponsored, these are just products that I use. Um, sometimes use the moisturizer instead, because that will actually dry in and moisturize the scalp. Bam, coat your scalp, slap head, I love it. But let it dry, don't just play with your baldy head. There we have it guys, what have we got? We've got baldiness. Sometimes we just clipper it, we might have a, a two, I started clippering it to a one, and then I went closer, but the closer I got, I started to think, hold on, there's a better style for this. So I actually start gr growing a bit of stubble and I like, blend it in. If you've got hair, um, you could just blend this into your hair. Um, I'm going to do a separate video on trimming your beard for a chiseled jawline. Um, so I'll put the link to that video at the end or once I've edited it, click here and you can go straight to that video now. I'll give you a minute. Don't forget to subscribe. Or find me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. Done? Okay. Um, if you're still here guys, thank you so much. I hope that's been helpful and I hope you like your new baldy head if you're not used to shaving already. And even if you are and you've watched this, I hope you enjoy your new baldy head, Gordy style. Yeah. I don't know what that was, that was ridiculous. Bye bye. Pow! That's it. The manliness of beards. I just thought it was really fit. Rawr. Um, so yeah, bears. Rawr. Depending on the bear, if they've got a beard, yes, I will like it.